friend. Okay. Well, today I'm going to make for dinner or lunch. Actually, forget that. It's going to be breakfast. Uh, some beef stew in my instant pot and I'm going to use up some of my onions that I have in the, the pot because I'm not sure. We might have regular onions but I want to use up this and I'm not going to eat it all in the salad so I want to pop these up. So these are what I pulled up. They look wonderful actually. It won't be enough for the pot roast but it will be enough I'm going to use it all I didn't pull everything but like I said I think that's some grass <laughs> seeds that got in there and my garlic Tony doesn't like garlic so this shall be in okay here's everything that's going into the beef stew the beef stew a little bit of butter potatoes scallions uh, sweet onion, carrots, and I also used some Better Than Bouillon roast beef base along with some McCormick's seasoning. I chopped off the ends of the onions and then I chopped them up and I put them in the pot and put a little bit of butter in there and cooked those down. Then I took the carrots and I took them out of the package, sprinkled some salt on them, and folded them up into the packet. Then I did the same thing with the potatoes that should be coming up here shortly. I took those out, sprinkled them with salt, and closed them up into a packet. I'm still fighting with the carrot. <laughs> it's gonna come out. There it goes. There it goes. Salt. And that's it. It produces a little bit of water when it cooks down. And I had to do this with one hand, so not bad. I think I did pretty, pretty well. Turn it around and close the other end. My onion is cooking down nicely. And then I turned it on low so that I wouldn't burn the onions. And I did the same thing with the potatoes, but I opened up the bag a little bit more so that I wouldn't be fighting with the potatoes like I did with the carrots. So the foiled carrots and potatoes will go into the crock pot, but I'm going to put it in the meat first. I came outside to read this because I had the fan going and Tony is still asleep, so I don't want to wake him up with too much noise. But this is better than bouillon roasted beef base. Roasted beef base. And once I season my meat, um, or saute it in the crock pot for about five minutes or so. I will add water. I add about four, no, 
add about six to eight cups of water in the crock pot and then this says here to basic stock directions to dissolve one teaspoon in eight ounces of boiling water I use about two tablespoons in here and it, it really just kind of goes by taste but since I've already put the meat in I'm not going to taste it with the uncooked meat so I'm going to add about two tablespoons I think that's about normal you can also put this stock in a pitcher or whatever you use a container of water mix it up and then taste it that way to see if you like the flavor and actually I think I might do that if I can find a container uh, to use because I packed up a lot of things and I don't know where a lot of things are so we shall see Yay! Okay, here's the meat. I'm just going to cook it for about five minutes and then I will add everything else and put it under pressure. I forgot I didn't have a roast and I had stew meat, so I ended up just pouring all the meat in, putting in a cup and a half of water, and then I put the foil packets in, I put the lid on, and I set it for 90 minutes under pressure at uh, maximum. That has dropped, is no longer under pressure. I let it rest for uh, 22 minutes on natural um, release and then I did a quick release. When you open these, make sure you don't open them towards your face. Okay, so I'm gonna take these out and show you what they look like. Okay, these are nice and tender, and just to show you, goes right through. These are ready. So what I'm going to do is actually add some more water in here. That's my meat that's left. And I'm going to bring it up to a boil and make a gravy. Okay, so I put in four bottles of water, and this will bring to a boil, and I will add cornstarch colored with browning sauce okay just want to show you I add two heaping tablespoons of Argo cornstarch and if you've never heard of browning sauce kitchen bouquet you might know it by kitchen bouquet and I add this in here because Tony does not like light color gravies. And so, all you need is a little bit, and you mix it up, and then when it's thickening, it will also be a little bit darker. And if it's still too light, I'll add some more into the pot. But I do like to add it just in the cup first. Mix this up and make sure when you mix up cornstarch, you mix it with cold water, otherwise it will clump on you. Okay, I went on and picked up the potatoes and the carrots and put it in here because it was uh, draining or dripping. There was a hole in the foil 
so it was dripping all over the counter and I didn't want to lose those wonderful nutrients and juices and everything and this is what it looks like right now I did add a little bit let me show you of this mixture but I don't add it all at one time because I don't want it to get too thick and I won't know the consistency until it comes to a boil. And it's starting to, if you see a little bit over here, it is starting to come to a boil. So I let it come to a nice full boil and that way it cooks that cornstarch into the um, base. So I'll be right back. Okay, it's coming to a nice boil. I thought I had my cayenne pepper that I like to add at the end, but I don't have any, so I'm adding some crushed red pepper flakes. Not a lot. Okay, so I'm looking at this, and this is a little bit too thin. Not exactly what I want, so what I'm going to do, stir this back up, make sure cornstarch doesn't settle at the bottom and then I just pour this over I'll save a little bit I like to stir it in because it gets thick pretty quick and I probably will end up using all of it but I like to give it a chance to thicken and not thicken it too much so I, I don't want to have to add any more water so I want it to be a nice stoop, a stew with a little bit of soup texture or wateriness or however you say that. <laughs> so I ended up adding one more tablespoon of cornstarch with a little bit of the kitchen bouquet in it because this is the consistency that I like. So I'll show it to you in the bowl. And here's the finished project. Yum. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.